Setting up 11 labs for the Harrow command is honestly a pretty simple and straightforward process. The first and main thing you need to do, of course, is create an 11 labs account. Now, when setting up an account, there are two main subscriptions you should be concerned about before you get into ridiculous pricing tier, and that is both the starter and creator monthly subscriptions. The starter will get you roughly 40 minutes of audio generated dialogue, while the creator subscription is roughly two hours rough, which honestly is not a whole lot. Even though the pricing is quite expensive, and it's not really suitable for long-term playthroughs, Mimic 3 and Azure are much better in that category, 11 Labs is some of the best high-quality voice acts you can get with this AI-generated technology. And also, it's rather easy to generate it to use any voice you want. Even if you're not going to use this long term, I highly recommend at least giving the starter subscription a try, because it really does change the game. Now to create a mimicked voice, you're going to need a clean audio recording of it. You can download these online, but in this case in the mods discord, we have some sample configurations which you can just simply download. In this case, we're going to be generating a sample file from the young, eager Herica voice. Once you downloaded the files, head back to 11 Labs, navigate to Voice Lab, Click the plus icon and click instant voice cloning. Give it an appropriate name and upload your audio files here. Scroll down and click the confirmation button, then click add voice. So it will probably take a minute or two for it to add the voice. Once you've created the voice, you can simply go back to the voice lab and select it. From here, you can play around with what you want the voice to say, Hello, as well as mess Erica. around with some of the voice settings. Hello, my name is Herika. Once you are happy with your generated voice, click the profile icon in the top right, click profile, and copy and paste this API key somewhere safe. Once again, these are API keys. Do not share them with anybody. Now if you click resources, API reference, and an API playground, you get brought to an API web page. Select get v1 voices, so the drop down menu drops down, and then click try it out. Enter in your API key within the text box, and then click Execute. Now in the response body down below, you should get an output of all the generated voices available for your account. Simply find the generated voice you receive in game, and then above it, there should be a voice ID field. Copy us. Now if you head to the configuration page for the mod, under the 11 Labs voice ID, paste in the new voice ID we've just set. The stability and similarity boost are those two little sliders we saw from earlier. Enter in the correct values here, which you want the voice to sound like. And under TTS function, set it to 11 labs. Also, of course, at the top of the page, make sure to set your 11 labs API key. And remember, don't share it with anybody. And now we're going to reopen up the game and talk to Erica. She should sound a bit different. Hey Erica, where are we currently? We are in Whiterun, Rangru. It's a city located in the center of Skyrim. What brings us here? And that's all you have to do to configure it with Eleven Labs. A pretty straightforward process. You can play around with all sorts of voices, play around with the voice settings, and really have a heck of a time with it. It is a shame, yet it does cost quite a lot of money for long-term use, but that is just the price of quality. Uh, we'll leave the video here. I think Haruko can do the outro. Say goodbye to the viewers, Herica. Goodbye, viewers.